Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Vanessa and this is Nessa CX Beauty. Today's video is going to be on Believe Beauty, which is a new brand in the Dollar General. And y'all, I have never stepped into a Dollar General in my life until today. And there is none in my neighborhood, so I had to take an Uber to the closest one and then take an Uber all the way back after I got all of these products. So we're going to be doing a full face of Believe Beauty. And all of these items are $5 and below. To be honest, they were all within the $4 and $5 range. And I got enough for a full face. So if you're interested in that, just continue watching. So the first product that we're going to be trying out is the Believe Beauty Brow Defining Pencil. And I got mine in dark brown because they didn't have a black. But let's put this to the test. It did get the job done. I don't know if I'm supposed to sharpen this or not. It looks like it should be sharpening, but it's like all plastic and it's not a roll up. So I don't really know what the deal is with this product. And other than that, it doesn't seem too precise. So I could see that being an issue for somebody who has less thick eyebrows than me, who actually cares about how precise their brow pencils are. But now the other brow will pop on magically. So I already have an update for y'all. It definitely does sharpen. While I was doing this brow, it was wearing down. So I did sharpen it. And it worked. <laughs> so that's a plus. Next up, I'm going into the Believe eyeshadow palette. This is the palette called Golden Disco. And it's all shimmers. So I'm going to be digging in a different palette for a matte so I can put it on the crease and have a cohesive look. So I'm going to be using the Honeycomb palette by Midas Cosmetics. I'm digging into the shade called Hive. And this is my Morphe M321 brush. And after Hive, we're going to color switch and go into the shade Rose, which is right here and we're gonna blend on top of Hive. Okay, after that we're gonna cut our crease. So after we have our crease cut, I'm digging into this gold right here with my Anastasia packing side and we're just gonna place that in our cut crease. Now I'm just going to blend out more Hive, where the gold and Hive meet. Not going to lie, that gold took a little bit of build up, but once it is built up, it looks pretty good. I don't know if I would buy another palette. That's just my thoughts. So I did recreate it on the other side and I did bring my crease down because I realized that I did it too high. And then I also took it upon myself to swatch the shades. What I did realize is that the gold did perform better the second time around. So maybe you have to get through the top layer before getting the full pigment. Because after I did that eye and I struggled a little bit, this eye was way more smooth in depositing the gold. And I actually like it. I still don't know if I would repurchase this though. The next item I'm actually excited for because I am an eyeliner junkie. And this is the Believe Beauty Liquid Eyeliner in Midnight Jaguar. So over here where there's less eyeshadow, you can definitely see that the pigment is there. But right over here where there's the gold... I think you need to build it up. Right, y'all, so that is not the most opaque black, but it did get the job done. I'm wondering how long this will last and not dry out because look, it already has some gold in the tip. I'm gonna go over it with my Butter London Power Up Eyeliner and see if this helps out with the opacity. All right, so the Butter London one definitely did make it more opaque. That is how I know that this is not the most black eyeliner ever. I'll even swatch it right here. 
it does swatch nicely though and then compared to my butter london one Oh, you can even tell that the Butter London one is more black. But it's not a horrible eyeliner. It just needs to be built up. Now, this wing is about to appear magically because I'm not doing both on screen. <laughs> JK, y'all. This is performing significantly worse on this eye. <laughs> like, it won't, it won't do it. That's not happening. So I'm gonna cover it up with my Butter London again. But just letting y'all know, I think that this eyeliner is a dud. But now we're just gonna move on to the most exciting part for me, the complexion products. We're going to start off with the Believe Beauty Pretty and Prime Stay Put Makeup Primer. And this one I chose because it's supposed to be the one that makes your um, makeup prolong and basically smooths out your pores. So that is why I chose to buy this one instead of the color correcting one. This does not feel silicone-y at all. It actually feels like a moisturizer. Okay, so that primer doesn't look like it's smoothed anything out, but it did make my face a little bit tacky and a little bit more shiny. Now the foundation for $5. This is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation and it's medium to full coverage. And I got the shade Neutral Tan. They ran out of tawny, so I'm hoping this one actually matches me. And then I also picked up their sponge, which is huge, y'all. This is huge. This is the beauty blender. All right, we're gonna go in with their sponge on one side. Okay, so this was pretty much perfect going in between my eyebrows. That was pretty funny to me, not gonna lie. The foundation looks pretty nice. And this is blending out pretty nice as well. I think it's a pretty good match too. A. <laughs> All right, so the next half is going to go in with my beauty blender. And for this one, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the performances of these sponges because I really like how this sponge performed, not going to lie. All right, so I think both sides look stunning. Mind y'all, I have dry skin. Dry. And this is supposed to be a natural skin finish. Next up is the concealer. This is the Believe Beauty Concealer in Fair. And I bought this to highlight under my eyes and in between my brows, my nose, and all of that jazz. You're Covered Liquid Concealer. That's what it's called. The You're Covered Liquid Concealer. Off the bat, this doe foot doesn't pick up too much product, but I'm hoping that's because this concealer is full coverage. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing using this sponge on this side and the beauty blender on this side. And this side with my beauty blender. One thing I'm going to add is that this was the second lightest shade and it looks like it might actually be really close to my skin tone and I'm considered a medium skin tone so I don't know how I'm feeling about that but it does look really pretty. Like I look shiny and I'm a dry skin girl. Next up is the Believe Beauty Matte Blur Loose Powder and I got the shade Light Medium. That's how it looks. It looks super fine. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Did y'all see that? Do y'all see that? It looks a little weird. Okay. So what I'm going to do is use a brush with that powder.
Okay, so just going in with the brush and not using a sponge at all, it definitely looks more smoothing. Despite the mishap with the sponge on this side, making it look a little bit darker, I think that the powder is probably my second favorite so far. I think since it's not like brightening, I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this powder as well. I think this powder is really freaking beautiful. Next, we're digging into the Believe Beauty Get Glowing Highlight and Contour Palette in Medium Deep. And these look like pretty, pretty shades. I'm kind of excited for this one. So I'm gonna start off with the bronzer. Next up, the blush. Lastly, we're gonna dig into the highlighter. But if I wet the brush, it'll probably be better. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. So wetting that brush really did make a difference. Now we're gonna dig into this shade right here and put it on our inner corners. So now we're gonna try the mascara. And this is called the Volumen Eyes. Voluminize. I'm slow. That is pretty. Do you see that? Oh. So this mascara definitely looks like it might get a stamp of approval from me. That's exciting. Wow. Okay. So, last but not least, I got this Believe Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in Honey Blush. So, I did not get their setting spray, so I'm just gonna set with this, if y'all don't mind. That completes this look. Full face of Believe Beauty from the Dollar General, and there were definitely some hits. My top two were definitely the foundation and the powder. If you get anything from this brand, it should definitely be one of these two. My bottom two have to be the eyeliner and the concealer, because as I keep looking at myself in the mirror, I can definitely see more darkness showing through. And this concealer says that it's full coverage, and it's definitely not. And then this is definitely going into the trash after this. Some maybes. The primer, I don't know what it did. And the palette. It was hard in the beginning, but as I like broke it in, it started, you know, performing a little bit better. Like the gold got better. And the shade, I swatched it prior to using it as an inner corner highlight, so... It performed good as an inner corner highlight, but personally, I'm not repurchasing one of these. And then, a surprise for me was this, because I did not think I was going to like this, and I really, really, really do. Like, it's perfect for in between, and then it blends out perfectly. So, there are definitely hits and misses among these products. Let me know what y'all think, because I think I look pretty good despite a little bit of like the wonkiness in the eyeliner but that is it for this video and I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I liked creating it and I hope to see y'all soon let me know your opinions down below and have a great day or night wherever you are in the world bye bye